Hey you guys, this is our Friday workout for week number nine. You'll notice I'm coming at you guys from a different location today. I was in that front room. The front room of our house is what we have as our guest bedroom, but when we don't have guests, that's what I use as my workout space, and that's usually where I'm filming from. But I was in there doing a couple of things earlier, and it was just so hot and stuffy in there, and I was like, I can't do it, I need some airflow. <laughs> so I drug everything out of there, and this is kind of like the entry area of our house. Um, luckily, shouldn't be too many distractions today with me being here because the kids aren't home. Who knows, the husband might get home from work, but if he does, he'll just, you know, have to walk on through or whatever. But coming to you from a different location for that reason. So if you're wondering, what is going on? Where are you? That's the deal. So this is our Friday workout, you guys. We have got a good one today. A little bit of everything going on. Y'all know I kind of like to mix it up and just give you different ways to challenge your body. And that's what today is all about. So we've got that warm up that we've been doing together this week. From there, we're gonna go into a round that I want you to really think of more just like core activation. It's not intended to burn out those abs at all. Really just some core activation exercises that will be in there. Um, then we're gonna go into some Tabata. So the Tabata rounds that we're gonna do today, each round, so there's gonna be three separate rounds of Tabata, each consisting of two moves. The two moves in each round is gonna be 20 seconds on of one move, 10 seconds on, off, excuse me, 20 seconds of the second move, 10 seconds off. We go back to move number one, 20 seconds, move number two after that 10 second break. And we do that a total of four times for three rounds. That might be a little bit confusing, but all you have to think each Tabata round is two moves, 20 on, 10 off alternating between those two moves, a total of four times each. Then we reset, we regroup, regroup, catch our breath, and we have a new series of two exercises for Tabata round two. Then we have a new series of two exercises for Tabata round three. We do that a total of three times. All right, y'all, then to finish things off, before we get into our cool down, before we get into our yoga, we have a build on challenge. It's not like that plank build on challenge, it's a little bit different, but I've got a surprise in there for y'all too. We're gonna do that build on challenge a total of three times. Okay, a lot of chat, let's just get to it, right? There's nothing like just right now getting it done. Let's do that. We're gonna step back here and we're gonna take it to that warm up. Let me grab one more swig of water. Set your timer, set your tracker if you do that. And when you're ready, go ahead and start in that high knee march. I feel like I have a lot more space here. Maybe this is where I should be recording anyway. Oh no, next week the kids will be home. This won't work. <laughs> we got seven and six. We're gonna come down to our mat for that cat cow in four, in three, cat cow in two and one. You guys come on down. I'm gonna come to my phone and turn it on. Do not disturb. One step that I forgot there. All right, let's do it right here, cat cow. Once you're there, hands down, knees down, push away, shoulder blades separate. And then we arch that back, right back to it. Cat arching up and then dipping down. We've got eight in seven. Next, we're gonna go to those bear holds. So what you're gonna do, tuck those toes under in five, in four, tucking those toes in three, two and one. From your neutral spine, take your toes, tuck them under and lift your knees. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, from here, down dog in five, four, three, two, and one. Speaking of dogs, there's go, there goes mine. Hold here for eight. We're gonna take it back to the hovering bear in five, four, hover bear, hold three, two, and one. Bring it down, hovering bear, hold 10, nine, eight, seven. This is our second of three. We're back to that down dog in four, three, two, and one. Back to that down dog, hold and back to hovering bear in five, four, three, two, and one. Back to hovering bear, knees bent, hold, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, dropping those knees in five, back to cat cow, three, two, and one, drop those knees, and you're right back to that cat cow. Woo! 10 seconds right here, we are gonna tuck those toes under and lift up to your down dog, but not stay there for long, you're gonna walk it in and roll it up in five, four, three, two, one, toes tuck under, lift through down dog and start walking in those hands, roll it up. And once you're there, we've got those body weight squats. 
15 more seconds in these body weight squats. We have a lot more squats coming up today, so we don't need too much time in them to, today in this warm up. Just that activation right here for another five. In four, we jack it out in three, two, one. Here we go, jack. 20 seconds, y'all, right here. We've got 15. Final 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, in three, two, one. Yes. All right. Warm up is done. Let's get into that core activation, shall we? Come on down. Here's what we've got, y'all. Bring one dumbbell with you and set it right beside that mat so it's easy to reach when you are on your back. From your back, we're just going to start in that dead bug, the extension of one arm. The extension of the opposite leg. Meet at center and switch. Right here. Go ahead and join me now if you haven't yet. Reach out, pull in, squeeze back nice and flat. Really thinking here about engaging that core. We've got 10. You're gonna grab that dumbbell and we're gonna go into a full weighted sit up in five, in four. Grab your dumbbell, three, two, one, right here, grab that dumbbell, heels are down, you're gonna reach the dumbbell overhead and go into that full sit up, reaching the dumbbell out and over the knees, roll it down slowly, and extend overhead. 20 more seconds right here, now if that full sit up is a little much, you can take this to that weighted crunch, rather than coming all the way up into that sit up, just lifting about here, and then right back down. We've got 15 seconds. You're gonna take that dumbbell down beside you. You're gonna to need to be able to reach for it again. But from here, we're going into a side plank on your knee, on your elbow. Doesn't matter which side. In five, four, three, two, and one. Right here. Drop that dumbbell down. Come to your knee and elbow. Remember, this is just about activation, so this doesn't have to be the most challenging side plank you've ever done. Reach that top arm out, and now we dip and lift. Dip and lift, good. What's gonna happen next to you guys? We just kept that hip dip on the other side. So all you're gonna do is roll through to center. I'm actually gonna flip all the way over so I stay facing the camera. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven. Roll through center, set up that side plank on the other side. In four, three, two, and one. Take it to the other side. Woo, right here, right to it, hip drop down. Lift, down, and lift. If you would like to make this harder, you can come up to those feet in your side plank, or you can extend out that top leg. Whatever you choose as an advancement, if you want the advancement. We're gonna lay down on your back and go right back to that dead bug in 10. Right back to dead bug on your back in five, four, three, two, and one, lay it down right here. You can face that other direction if that's what works for you. One leg, one arm extend, reach out and up. Knees and tabletop. How you feeling here, y'all? Stay with it, 20 more seconds. That dumbbell should be within reach so you can grab it for that weighted sit up. We're there in 10. Weighted sit up in five. Four, three, two, and one. Right here, grab that dumbbell. With it, we reach overhead. Heels stay planted, lift, squeeze. Try not to use too much momentum on this sit up. Use that core to control the lift and roll back down. Control the lift, reach, and roll back down. We've got about 20 set up seconds. We set up, that's what I was trying to say. We set up that side plank. Now, if you would like to take the advancement this time, if you didn't last time, rather than setting up on the knee and the elbow, set up on the feet and the elbow. In five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbell down, elbow, side foot if you can. Lift all the way up and here we go. Down and up, just 15 seconds. Down and up, good. We're gonna roll through center to take those hip drops from your side plank the other way. In seven, six, five, four, three, 
two and one, roll through center. I'm gonna turn here, down and up. Good, down and up. We got 12 seconds in it. We got 10. Woo! We're gonna come through center into the child's pose. In five, four, three, two, and one. Roll through center, drop those knees, take them out wide, heels together, and step back, child's pose. Woo! That was our core activation, you guys. I am so excited because now the real work begins. Now we get into that Tabata. Oh, okay. Our first two moves in this Tabata round. Oh, you guys, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Okay, tough but good, okay, I promise. First two moves. I am going to be performing these hand release push-ups from my knees. No shame in my game, no shame in your game, whatever you gotta do. Here's what it looks like. For 20 seconds, you're gonna come to that modified plank position. Drop all the way down. Lift the head, neck, shoulders, and the hands. You see how my hands are coming up about two inches? Lift, place them back down, and then right back up from that push. That's called a hand release push-up. Then you've got 10 seconds to come up. From there, we've got squat jumps for 20 seconds. If that squat jump is a little too much, you can burst up onto your toes, that burst of energy just to your toes. You can take it to body weight squats, or you can alternate one squat, one squat jump. Okay, y'all, in 10 seconds, those hand release push-ups. We start in five. Here we go, in four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds, down, release up, hands down, push up, down, release up, hands down, push up, yes. We got 15 seconds. We're working just 20 seconds at a time. Tabata is about that burst of energy and the quick recovery. I don't even know if I would call it a recovery. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, breathe, come on up, breathe. Slowly take it up, not too slowly because we gotta go. Those squat jumps in five, four, three, two, one. Squat, jump. Remember, you can come up to your toes you can take it to those body weight squats, or you can take it one squat, one squat jump. I like to thrust those hands back. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right back to it. We have three more rounds of that. Right back to it. Hand release push ups. In five, in four, in three, two, one. Down, hands, down, push, down. Hands down, push, yes. <sighs> Fight for it. Halfway there through this one, we got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe. Come on up, squat jumps. Whoo! In five, four squat jumps in three, two, one. Down, up. Come on, whatever you gotta do. 12 seconds, 10 seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10 second break. Halfway through Tabata round one, two more sets of each. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, down, hands, down, push. Breathe. I know that 10 seconds between is not enough time to catch your breath. It's like that for a reason. It gets harder and harder every time. We continue to challenge ourselves. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds squat jumps. Woo! In five, four, three, two, one. Squat jumps. This is our third of four rounds with these two moves in this Tabata style work. We've got it, we've got it. 10, seven, five, four, three, breathe, two, and one. 10 seconds, last round, woo! The hubby is home, he's like, what the heck is going on? Here we go, five, four, hand release push-ups in three, two, one, down, hands, down and push, woo! Just 20 seconds here, you guys. Last round of these. Keep that back flat and push. Release and push. We got five, four, three, 
two, one, breathe. Squat jumps, last time, in five, in four, in three, two, one, last 20 seconds. You have a longer break coming right here.
one, 10 seconds, last round of skaters. In six, five, four, set it up, three, we go in two, and one, going back to that weird side. Sometimes when things feel different, that's when we need to focus on them a little bit more, when it feels weird, huh? Up and over, up and over, 12. I feel like I'm barely getting off the ground, and that's okay, I'm okay with that. Six, five, four, three, two, one, yes. Tabata, two of three, check, check, done. One more to go. I, um, earlier was outside cleaning out the car. I was sweating like crazy. So, I keep these little mini Gatorades for my kids. It's like, I need to replace some electrolytes from all the sweat I've been doing today. Woo! Okay, y'all, one more round. One more Tabata round. Here it is. We're gonna step those feet out wide. You're gonna have one dumbbell and you need that dumbbell for both moves for four rounds in this Tabata set. It's gonna be a sumo squat weight swing. We thrust up, squeeze through that booty, and let that weight come up just to the chest and shoulders, no higher. 20 seconds there. Then from there, 20 seconds in those press jacks. Modification is a step jack. Grab that weight, we go in 12. Here we go. Sumo squat weight swings. 20, 10, 20, 10. In five, four, three, two, one. Sumo squat, swing. Really squeeze from that backside. Nice and quick right here, 15 seconds. Down and up, squeeze, 10 to go. Keep the weight during your 10 second break in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the dumbbell. 10 seconds, you got jacks, press jacks. In five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds right here. Nice and light on the balls of your feet. Out, in, out, in. 10, seven. We've got four, three, two, one, breathe. 10 seconds, back to those weight swings. Three more rounds. Seven, six, five. Here we go, four, three, two, and one. Down, up, down, up, yes. Let that momentum work with you on the swing, but you're getting that momentum from the squeeze and lift of your backside. Seven seconds right here. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds. Press jacks in six, five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds. And we can consider this third to bottom round halfway done as soon as we get done with these jacks. 10, seven, five, four, three, two, one, breathe. Here we go. Round three of four in this one. In five, four, weight swings, three, two, one. Right here, 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. Eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Here we go. Press jacks in five, four, three, two, one. Right here. Tabata is done after this. We got these squat weight swings for another 10. Then one more round of press jacks. Seven, five, four, three, two, 
One. Last set of jacks. In eight. Here we go. In five. Four. Three. Two. One. Out and in. Out and in. Good. Ten seconds. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Tabata is done. Drop that dumbbell. Grab your water and get you some breath. Some breath. <laughs> Catch your breath right here. Okay. We are already near that 23 minute mark. At that 23 minute mark. So here's what we've got. This is four moves. We go through each four one time. We go through each four two times. We go through each four three times. We drop the dumbbells and then you have three true burpees. What I mean by true burpees, this is not the way we usually do them. We usually do plank thrusters, true burpees, hands down, feet jump back, arms go soft, drop the chest, press up, feet go wide, and up for the jump. So after we go down with three, these three moves, here's what it looks like. One row, one clean, one squat, one press, down two rows, two cleans, two squats, two presses, three of each, drop the dumbbells, three burpees, then breathe, okay? So our pace might be a little bit different here, and I want you to know that is okay. So let's start with those dumbbells. It's row, swing to clean, drop the squat, and press it up. One, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. I should have added an extra one, two, and three on each of those because it's four moves. All right, you guys, we're gonna start together. Whether or not we stay together, I just want you to know it's absolutely okay. We will catch up on the breather. We go in four, in three, two, one. Hinge forward, give me one row. Drop the row, now swing it back. Clean one, squat, one press. Hinge forward, two rows, one, two, two cleans, one, two, two squats, one, two, two presses, one, and two, we go to three, here we go, three rows, one, two, three, three clean, swing back, one, two, three, three squats, one, two, three, three presses, drop these dumbbells, two presses, one left, dumbbells down, here we go, burpees, hands, arms go soft, jump it in, and up, two more, burpee, jump it in, up, last one, jump it in, and jump, breathe. Yes, that is exactly what we have two more times. Now again, if we were not on the same pace, who cares? What matters is we get it done. We not, might not be exactly together with each other, but we are here for each other. We are all doing this in whatever space we have, okay? That's what's important, we get it done. 10 seconds, we do exactly that again. In five, four, starting with the row, in three, two, one, one row. One swing, one squat, one press. Two, 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 here we go, two rows. Swing those arms back, one more time, two squats. And two presses. Now we go to three, here we go. One, two, three, three cleans. One, two, three, three squats. One, two, and three, three presses. One, two, and three. Drop the dumbbells, three burpees. Here we go, hands, toes, arms soft. Drop the chest, wide jump up. Back, down, jump wide. One more, drop the chest, jump wide, and jump, breathe. One minute right here. One minute to regroup, one minute to consider. You know what you've got right here, you know what it is. It is what you have just done two more times, two times before. But what is different this time? You are that much more tired. 
you are that much more fatigued, this is where we push. This is where we get stronger. When we don't really want to do it, but we do it anyway, because we are up for the challenge. We are. Sometimes you might not feel like it, but we are. This is where we get stronger, right here, 20 seconds. We have exactly that. One more time. How are you feeling, crew? I know, you're feeling tired, but you're feeling like you can do this. Grab those dumbbells. Whew, I'm gonna have to mop, all my sweat is flinging everywhere in here. We go in seven. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 three. Here we go, four, three, two, and one. Hinge, one row, one clean, one squat, one press. Twos, here we go, one, two, two swing and cleans. One, two, two squats, one, and two, two presses. Now we go to three, three rows. Three clean, swing, pull, swing, pull. One more, three squats. One, two, and three, three presses, and we've got those burpees. That is it, drop the dumbbells out of the way. Here we go, hands, toes, chest low, feet wide, jump up. Hands, toes, feet wide, jump up. One more, okay, surprise everybody. Meet me in plank. Meet me in plank until we finish right here. Everybody together. If you're still going on those burpees, if you're still going on that three count, whatever it is, we meet in plank. Even if you're only here for a few seconds, get there. Get there. Goal is to end in plank in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Drop the knees. Child's pose in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, take it back. <sighs> You guys know what I'm thinking? Tomorrow, if the weather holds up, we get to do this one outside. I'm just thinking about how much I'm sweating in my climate controlled 74 degree house. What it's gonna feel like outside in July. It's July! Reach those finger tips forward, sit those hips back. We're gonna come out from child's pose and into that cobra. So you're gonna come up through all fours into tabletop. Allow those hips to keep moving forward. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders, lift the chin. Now take that chin, look over your left shoulder. From center, look over your right shoulder. Back to center with the chin, lift up into down dog hold. Give me that pedal in your down dog, whatever feels good to you right here. Whatever side you're on, hold in five, that heel down low in three. Two and one, hold that heel low, low. We switch in five, four, three, press the other heel down, two and one, press and hold it. Both heels down in five, four, three, both down in two and one, press it straight. Now from here, take that right leg, reach it up. Take that right knee, bend it, and look for your right heel behind your left hip, hold there. We're gonna take this into our pigeon from here. Reaching that right knee up between the thumbs in three, two, and one. Shift forward, almost like you're going into plank. You're gonna bring that right knee forward, that left leg extended back. And here I wanna make this a dynamic stretch today. So I want you to get some movement through that upper body, chest down over the knee, then press into those palms and lift the chest and chin up. Chest down over that knee, lift the chest and chin up. We've got eight, seven, Six in five, four, three, two, and one. From here, slide that left knee behind the right, separate the heels and feet, and then sit back. This is in that seated cow face pose. You can grab the feet and pull them in close toward those hips, and now start to walk those hands in. In this one, we're not doing a dynamic stretch, we're just holding. You should feel it in the back of those hips. Stay right here, breathe through it. We've got eight. In five, four, three, two, and one. Shift forward, uncross those knees. Hands down, give me a couple of cat cows here. Eight, seven, six. We're gonna tuck those toes under and lift to your down dog in four, three, two, one, lift to down dog, hold. Woo! Left leg reaches up. 
Left knee bends, look for that left heel behind the right hip, hold. Left knee comes between the thumbs for pigeon in four, three, two, and one. Left knee through. Right leg reaches back, chest down low, get set here, make your body long. Now use that upper body, use those arms to lift and lower. We've got eight. In five, four, three, two, and one. Pull that right knee in behind the left so those knees are crisscross, separate the feet and sit back. Pull those heels into the body and then lean down over that top knee, hold. Oh, this seated cow face pose, the backs of those hips, y'all, it's like right where your glute and hamstrings meet, right in the cuff, right in the cuff is where you should feel it. Woo! Hold here for another eight. In five, all we're gonna do is come up in three, two, and one, come up to that seated position. Separate those knees out wide for your butterfly sit. Bring those heels in close to the body. Grab the toes with your fingertips and then lift the chest, almost like you're gonna pull your chest through your upper arms. Nice and tall in that seated position. You should feel the stretch through the hips, the hip flexors, those inner thighs here for eight. Legs go out long in five, four, three, two, and one. Legs out long. We're gonna take it to that roll down. Reach it out to the outside of the feet. Reach up. Nice and tall. Match your breath with it. Elbows tuck in. Exhale on the reach. Inhale on the lift. Exhale down. One more time this way. Out, reach. Up, up, up. Elbows down. Now reverse direction. Reach up tall. Reach down and out. Lengthen through the spine. Pull it in. Two more. Reach up. Reach down and out. Pull in. One more. Up. Tall, tall, tall. Out. And in. Just let the head, neck, and shoulders hang forward. Nod your head. Left to right, a little roll here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to neutral. Lift, lift up nice and slow. From here, those arms reach out wide, grab all that good energy, and pull it down. According to my timer, we finished right at that 35 minute mark, you guys. I hope that you feel so challenged, but so accomplished after this workout. I know it was tough. It's so great to end our ninth week together on a nice challenging set, a set that makes you feel like, yes, I just did that. You did just do that. Congratulations. Awesome job, you guys. Have a great weekend, a great 4th of July. I honestly cannot believe it is July. I'm filming this on Thursday, so July 1st today. Wow. New month, new goals. Let's do it, you guys. So we're going to finish this program together. We're going to finish this program strong. We just completed week nine. We've got 10, 11, and 12 left together. You guys have a great weekend, and I will see you soon.